it would be about there being more access to these kind of spaces in the kind of communities where I grew up. So my dream is very much closely linked to my own life's experience. Um, during the apartheid years, I was an adult, adult already and already a teacher, but the only community art space in Cape Town during these years was the old community art project in Woodstock. Um, and it fulfilled a need, a crucial need um, in, in the community at that, at that particular uh, time. And I believe that as we went through the years and as we uh, got into a new political dispensation, one of the things that I think we, we thought would happen did not happen and that was opening up more of these kinds of spaces for the, for the communities. Um, simply because I think that in the art world, being an artist, being an art teacher, and just being in the art world, you understood, you had, a, you had an intrinsic understanding about the power that art has for ordinary people's lives. And that has to do with being this expressive force um, to, to, to give expression to their emo emotions, you know? Um, and I, and I remember much later on, years after the community arts experience, community arts project experience that I had, was that I, I did some research about community art centers universally, community-based art centers. And the most fascinating fact that I learned was that in Cuba, which is a very, very poor country, right? There were something like a hundred community art centers for something like every 5,000 people. Yeah? It was a ridiculous statistic that I couldn't believe. I had to actually double up and find out if this was true. But it gave me a sense that um, this Cuban society, this poor, economically struggling country understood the power of art for their society and what it meant um, in, in the spiritual life of the community. So my biggest, my biggest dream is still that, to be able to open up all manner of community arts centers in communities all over the place. Another thing that has disappointed me over the years is that um, our society has produced so many artists um, and one way to provide artists with an income is this kind of thing, is to have community arts spaces, centers where people could teach, impart their skills, where artists can be used. Um, artists could also be used in an interesting way by the education system. If one had to go and find out how many artists actually lived in the vicinity of a school or nearby, you'd be surprised. Why couldn't artists be co-opted into the education system in that kind of way, for example? So my dream would be that, that art is opened up more to the community in community art spaces and in, in, in schools. You just have to remember that I, I was brought up in, a, 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 in, in, a, in an apartheid South Africa, right? So when it comes to galleries and museums, galleries didn't actually mean much to me uh, in the apartheid days because they were too socially engineered according to the society back then, whereas Museums, on the other hand, were much more fascinating and interesting to me. In fact, um, it's, one of, it's one of those museum visits that opened up for me a very, very creative part of my life, unexpectedly, simply because of visiting a museum.
So one of those things about a museum is that it gives you a sense of the past, right? Um, you learn from the past. Um, it gives you a sense of the future because knowing the past, you have a sense of the present in order to organize the future in some sort of way, right? To understand wh what the future could be. Um, museums give you a sense of community to a certain sense, in a certain sense, because I believe that a museum makes everything equal because we all, even though we can live in divided societies, even divided societies share common histories. And these are the spaces, museums are the spaces where everybody can understand their, um, their, their, their mutuality, you know, how, they, how, how everyone is actually equal in terms of understanding your place in how history has made us what we are. Museums have the power to organize their exhibits in such a way as to create conversations um, that is to organize. Uh, maybe there are problematic aspects of history that an interesting museum kind of exhibit could create conversation and talk um, by simply by the way things can be arranged. Um, museums also give you a sense of, in, in the contemporary world, uh, um, an idea of um, technology. Um, because museums today use interactive technologies that are so interesting, you know, which you will not find in a, in a, in a gallery situation. Um, so yeah, these are the, you know, the differences between museums and, and, and galleries I find very interesting.